Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Join us in our annual Daystar Day celebration on this summer solstice weekend, 2011. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. Every year on the summer solstice, we ask you to experience a great star rise over our Earth's horizon, a star so huge we could fit over one and a quarter million Earths inside it. It sounds simple enough, but few people ever pay close enough attention to ever really experience the rising of the only star we can see in the daytime, the star we call our sun, a star I like to call our day star. Now, since the summer solstice officially occurs at 1.16 p.m. Eastern Time, Tuesday, June 21st, which is a work day, I'm suggesting you celebrate Daystar Day on Saturday or Sunday, the 18th and 19th. Now, I know some of you are thinking that I'm talking about a sunrise and that you've seen thousands of them. But believe it or not, although you may have seen thousands of sunrises, very few people have ever taken the time to completely experience what's happening all around them as the sun rises because sunrise involves a complex series of steps as night slowly turns into dawn and finally into day. And believe me, if you follow our simple instructions, you'll be amazed at what you've missed, because you'll experience one of the grandest events in nature, which most people ignore. To participate, here's all you have to do. Simply get up 15 minutes before twilight begins while you, it's still dark out on the day you've chosen. And whether you live in the heart of the city or out in the country makes no difference, because it's not the sun itself you're going to observe, but the effects of sunrise on everything around you as your part of the world slowly turns from night into day. It's better to be outside, but if not, just sit by an open window. Now for the rules, which are absolutely essential. No radio, no television, no doing your normal wake-up routine. All distractions must be eliminated. Simply sit quietly inside or outside, and when you see the sky slowly start to brighten, look, listen, and feel what happens all around you. Because the sunrise is more than visual. Watch the delicate interplay of light, color, and shadow, but also listen, and you'll hear the sounds of our world and its creatures waking up. You'll feel the wind change, the temperature change, and much, much more. Keep track of all the subtle changes you notice and record your observations on paper or into a voice recorder. Then read or listen to your observations a few days later. Believe me, if you've never done this before, you'll be absolutely amazed at what a star rise over a small planet can do for you. Of course, remember to never look directly at the sun at any time, as you can do permanent eye damage before you feel any real pain. Only observe the effects of the sun on the world around you. And while you're out there in the pre-dawn waiting for the sun, you may also notice a few bright points of light over there in the east. Halfway up the sky, you'll easily spot a bright light, which is the planet Jupiter. And if you keep getting up for several days and doing a little dawn gazing, you'll be rewarded on June 26th with a skinny 25-day-old moon about 5.5 degrees off to the left of Jupiter. Down into the left of Jupiter, just above the horizon, as the morning light gets stronger, you'll have a chance to catch a last glimpse of Venus as it lingers in the morning sky for a few more days. Venus will disappear soon and won't be seen again until it pops out into the evening sky in September. Look about two-thirds of the way between Jupiter and Venus for a faint reddish-orange light, and that will be Mars. The brighter red star below Mars is Aldebaran, the bright red eye of Taurus. If getting up so early to see the planets is too great of a stress for you, forget the planets and just watch the sunrise on the day of the solstice. I truly think that many of you will gain a whole different perspective of your place on this planet and our planet's place in the universe, a perspective that you may find life-altering. Happy day to Star Day, my friends. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Skywatcher is also available for $19.95.